Good morning everyone, this is Star Trek Fleet Command, morning coffee stream edition. Welcome into the chat. Hope your Wednesday hump day is going well. Sorry for the late start. Um, my computer rebooted itself overnight. I always leave it running and uh, sometimes that happens. So let's get started. that for right now. check on this because I don't rem I knew I know we need to replace about 10,000 for upgrading a Borg officer but I think tier 5 is 100,000 and I need to see where we're at I'll take a look at that later did some lap mining yesterday it's all good Do some more work to get some more skulls for the Voyager. I pulled most of my uh, credits for officers yesterday. So I'm on a rebuilding run. See what we have that needs upgrading. Claw. So these officers, these, I mean, there's four officers here that could be upgraded, but I don't really use them that much. Kind of was no sense wasting it. Yeah, so eight of 11. Oh, it doesn't tell me what I need until she's ready to upgrade. But I have 47, and I know 50 of it was used to upgrade her to tier 4. So, therefore, I'm going to need the 100. So, I'll keep grinding out the uh, inert nanoprobes for officer. Let me look real quick with the ship. I don't know if I need or let me rephrase how much I need. So I am bound up from uh, needing 
uncommon and rare resources, uh, specifically crystal here, uncommon. But let me let me grab something real quick and take a look at how much sixty six. That's cargo bay. Ooh, 243. Yep, that tells the tale. 176. Alright, so. 176. And a 77. Thirty three sixty six again. So I need six hundred and sixty one, whatever these are, charged nano probes. So I'm about a third of the way. to um, having all I need for tier 9 okay just wondering if if and when I can take a break from <laughs> grinding <laughs> Borg probes <laughs> for the ship, for the ship. So that's that's what I was curious about. Okay, where was I? Officers. Uh, I think I looked at what I wanted to see on the officer, so it's good. Go ahead and help the Alliance out. Okay. Catching up a little bit with the my alliance mates. Pulling the resources for the buildings. Let's see here. Um, waiting. Yeah, I don't need anything here. Consumables. Let's go ahead and see what's in here. Let's got enough. 50% repair speed, 15% officer stats, increase 25% cargo capacity. Mm. Eh, me. <laughs> it's all right. All right, territory. Okay, alliances. Resistance, bounties, there we go. Yeah, this stuff up. I'm gonna 
got tactical cores. Woo, 5,000. Okay, as Apex mentioned yesterday, I'm probably missing the boat on um, not collecting these things. What am I using? Um, Carmen Armada Credit. Okay. I did get 10 rare directives. It's amazing. Rare Armada Credit. this one? Epic. Okay. Oh, the Epic is like a week-long thing. Alright. Got it. the crystal. Uh, yep, need to go out to the website. Give me doing something off stream. Be right back. I pulled um, a lot of these things yesterday, so I'm going to let these percolate a little bit. Um, was that it? I think it was. Yeah. Okay. This crystal. Let me, I think my Gladius uses crystal. Let me check that real quick. I think it does. Yep, it would wipe that one component would wipe out all my crystal. Yeah, the same. Ooh. I'm going to hold it for another day. <laughs> Let's see. What have we got going on? Is this? Oh, it's so comp factory. What does this do for us? Just increases the power by a thousand. I'm sure I want to do anything about that. 32 is a good one, though. Okay. Well, I'll let it ride. So what the song says, just let it ride. Um, 
ones already. Man, didn't crit. Wow, a lot of these are good ones. Alright, pilot. And defense. We burning up a lot of defense <laughs> defensive crew this morning. him. Gonna need him later. I'm gonna do some mine, crystal mining later. Gonzalez is my diplomacy person. Yeah, but I don't get those missions anymore for some reason. I used to get them all the time. Hmm. Watch, if I put her on here. I'll get a diplomacy mission. traits. Most of my traits are tied up. I've had a lot of trait officers. I just had them already sent out. Which one is this? Dear forming expedition. Okay. Alright, that is a full boatload of OIT missions.
Okay. Oh, um... Not sure if I have anything I can upgrade. Power of Starfleet. Okay, what is this? Hmm, okay. I am going to go ahead and let this one go. As in start it. I'm going to go start this. All requires 60 uncommon gas out of 1,072. <clears throat> That's probably not a bad um, swap out. I have to be. I have to be careful how much of my uncommon and rare resources I use for what, because they're used for everything. Base upgrades, building upgrades, research. Ships, you name it. And I am definitely resource bound. Mm, let's see here. Go ahead and swap back out. Go to uh, Tiger Core and work on some dailies. Go ahead and rig my miner for this morning for um, crystal mining. Let's see here, group. about six minutes so Orioles guy how are you buddy uh, Lord visit welcome good morning appreciate you guys being here with me Just running through some dailies this morning. Nothing really, really exciting. I did a lot of uh, officer pulls yesterday. Did not get any full pulls. Oh, Germany. Awesome. I was in Berlin for the um, uh, marathon last year in October. I don't know how close you are to that or if you're even aware that there's a marathon in Berlin. I didn't run. 
my uh, my oldest daughter ran. She did really good there. She didn't win or anything, but she did really good in her time. Enjoyed my visit. We were there for about a week. <laughs> yes, I, 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 I certainly will slow down. That's that's uh, the reason I laugh is not because uh, you asked me to slow down. It's because I'm from the South in the United States, and we are notoriously known for speaking slow. So slow, in fact, that we're often considered fairly stupid. <laughs> Oh, I, I get it. Oh, well, welcome to the South. Uh, you're a transplant. We, we love you, <laughs> Orioles guy. <laughs> um, visit the, uh, the, I have the same problem with uh, people who are native Spanish speakers. Uh, people who speak Spanish and are fluent, whether they're native or they learned it from a class or whatever, they talk so fast that I catch about every fourth word. <laughs> It's a, it's a good minor. It's the one that I use. Uh, so I have, I don't have any of the, <clears throat> excuse me. <coughs> I don't have any of the faction minors. Um, so the, let me, let me pull up a ship swap here and we can, we can go through them real quick. So I use the um, Horizon because it has a lot of uh, cargo capacity. So this one has 490,000 in cargo capacity. But I have uh, other miners that are uh, specific like the Meridian. And the Meridian uh, has 216,000 cargo capacity. And then we have the Amalgam, and it has 866,000. So probably my um, strongest or biggest miner from a capacity standpoint is the amalgam. Um, let me see what this thing. Okay, you get extra cargo from the amalgam. So that's those are the, the ships that I have for mining. And then you you have of course the Botany Bay, you know, specific the Devor again specific but I would say probably this ship here is the one with the most cargo capacity I know you type something into chat let me take a look
Yeah, I knew I knew about the base rating. I was not aware of the G4 ability of the amalgam. My biggest problem with the um, oops, I almost got my ship blown up. Um, <laughs> give me a second. Why I juke? Going to juke this dude. Um, my biggest issue with the amalgam is the components you need to upgrade it. Uh, I'm still unclear as to where that stuff is coming from. And honestly, I probably should start using the amalgam when I want to mine because it has such a large cargo capacity. So, yes, upgrade the um, the uh, horizon. To a higher level or no do not upgrade the horizon to a higher level So Oreo's guy, did you um, did you move up to any higher? What were you yesterday? Ten, nine, nine or ten? So am I am I remembering that right? Oh, nice. That is very nice. And FYI, at tier, you might want to consider, just consider, pausing at tier 12 for your officers. The difference between uh, your, or excuse me, ops, ops 12. Ops 12 and ops 13, the list of officers that are part of the pool, <clears throat> excuse me, <coughs> part of the pool when you do your pulls. At, your, at that level expands and not in a good way so the, the smaller the pool of officers the more likely it is you're going to get something that you need that you can upgrade that kind of thing so that's that's my thought on that for what it's worth <laughs> I hear you I hear you let's see uh it's better to save resources for the 30 miner before upgrading Horizon Stronger. I have two of my 30 faction miners every day in use. Okay. All right. Good tip. Thank you, Visit. And um, my wife uh, was more... My wife went through like six months of German language uh, training. Um... I wish she was up here. I would. I would let her. Uh, she. She knows phrases. She doesn't like conversational German. She, but the one thing I do remember was, uh, uh, "Guten Abend." Is that correct? Let's see, tier 7 faction can reach the G4 sector in Horizon. Not, okay. All right, good to know. Uh, let's
Let's see. Is that set at 12? Yes, yes, Oreo Sky. Um, I would spend a little time looking at your uh, officers that you currently have. And if the, so the ones that specifically for me, I would say Jordy Crusher and whoever you have uh, in the sidecar with them, I would aim for a tier three uh, Jordy and Crusher. That would, that would be my goal if I were doing it again. So don't be don't be afraid to spend some time collecting stuff for ships or for officers or doing research, excuse me, um, at the low levels. Much, much easier at the low levels than it is higher up because people will attack you. <laughs> Oh, nice, nice. That is nice. Ah, okay. Just, just read your comment, uh, Lord Visit. Um, yeah, we found that uh, we uh, didn't really have a problem. Uh, trying uh, finding someone who could speak English I, re I, I can remember only one place that we went that my wife um, I mean for courtesy <clears throat> we were trying to speak as much German as we possibly could to the people we interacted with um, but we went we went to a Mexican restaurant and the, the waitress who was waiting on us uh, didn't speak any um, English. She spoke uh, Spanish and German. And uh, yo habla uh, espanol poquito. So, which means I speak Spanish very little. So... We were trying to rely on my um, lousy Spanish to to interact with this woman. <laughs> it was it was a fun lunch. <laughs> yeah, Jordy. I don't know why, but Jordy seems to. Be, take longer to get to tier three, but that's that's great that you've got him to tier three. That is awesome. Um. What did we finish here? <laughs> Lord Visit, are you are you high enough ops level to have the Voyager yet? Fifty one. Awesome. So have you have you gotten the new ship? <laughs> I am envious. Jealous. I am jelly. I think it's a great looking ship. <laughs> yes, it is. Um, the, uh, the, the 
you know, it's it's scopely. They're they're gonna throw in a grind every month for something that you really really want. <laughs> scopely is scopely. Oh, uh, Oreos guy, I did look up your server, the server name you gave me yesterday, uh, Stargazer. That's server number 100 in, in the, on the U.S. side. Um, I didn't know they had gotten that high. That's pretty cool. Yeah. Yeah, I can I can see that. I uh, I need to get my uh, Gladius leveled up, but I'm resource bound with uncommon crystal right now. Um, but I want to use it for everything right now. I'm using the uh, Centurion. If you, um, I'm not trying to encourage you to come to serve, to transfer servers, but I will say, and you, you probably know Oreos guy, you, if you are going to leave your server, you have to do it before you, uh, get to tier, uh, ops level 13. If you're talking about a new home on the current server, take a look at, um, like your top 10 alliances on your server and um, see if any of them are recruiting, uh, talk to some of the players, that kind of stuff. Yeah, but if you a, a good alliance, and, and some people put way too much stock into resources rated and all this, all these other things that do not matter um, to me. The, the game can be a social game, so you need to find uh, an alliance that um, the, the people are helpful, friendly, they chat, they help each other out. Um, for instance, when uh, this alliance that I formed, so funny story, and, and I'm not making this up, I promise you. Last year in October, my daughter was going to run in the Berlin Marathon. This server opened up in October, like the first couple of days in October, maybe the first week. I created the alliance. My work... Uh, ended up taking me to Germany. I was going anyway, but my work ended up taking me to Germany. I was there for a month. When I came back, people had joined the Alliance and everything was moving quite along, but I wanted to do Armadas. And so when we finally got everyone up to uh, where we could start running Armadas, um, I was buy I started buying uh, the packs to make the um, the Armada Armada Control Center, and so basically I was trying to run as many people through the Amar Armada events so that they could each create their own uh, what they call ACC Armada Control Center, and that that kind of help is what you're looking for in your alliance. People who are willing to share what they have with you uh, in the way that Scopely will allow. Um, so that's important to, a, to an alliance, uh, in my opinion. I think I am done here, guys. Um, 
think, I think, I think. Yep, I am done here. Let me recall. Uh, let's see here. Uh, center is, uh, I can only use her. Okay, up to, so is Centurion's good up to Ops 39 or, high, or higher, okay. Yeah, the the uh, the row kind of it's a kind of a, a wrestling match <laughs> with with row, um, but your your admiral has to be involved. Um, for the row discussions, if you have an A wall admiral, you guys are gonna you're gonna be stuck with. Taking whatever el uh, everybody else decides it should be. Yes, and and uh, Lord Visit brings up a good point. Your list of allies, people who have your back, will help you out in case war breaks out or territory capture in defense. Those uh, you really you really need good. Uh, Diplom you need a good diplomacy officer. So in, in this alliance, I have four, and I did this for a reason, I have four officers. And only one of those officers is a diplomacy officer. She handles all diplomacy. Um, I chose four Commodores because I want to be the tiebreaker. So look for an uh, an alliance that has uh, their Commodores actually doing things. Okay. So all right, so that was that was a, a good question. I have I have the Saladin that I'm working with now as well. So Lord Visit, what what happened? I was going to dual faction grind, and I screwed it up, and I became Romulan only. <laughs> so when I finally got. Um, high enough that it made sense to grind out Tiger Core. Um, I started doing uh, grinding in Tiger Core, so now my faction for Fed is almost 4 million here, where it was max uh, negative. It was minus 2 million faction. So I've gone from minus two million, and this has been in the last um, two weeks, two weeks maybe. So, but I, but I wanted this so I could get the Sally. Where is that right here? So I have that ship. Yeah, yeah. The uh, Roms. Where am I? I'm at nine. Oh wow. Um. Close to locking ROM. So, Oriole's guy, good luck on your search for another alliance. Shop around, dude. Uh, really, don't. Uh, there's nothing wrong with uh, joining an alliance and then giving it a shot for two weeks, four weeks, whatever, and then go, you know what? I don't think this, this is for me. Thank you for your time. And uh, move on to another. Just keep in mind, you don't you don't really need the biggest baddest alliance. There's more. It's more. There's more to it than the ability to raid maximum resources every day from another player. Um, so shop around. Get get one that feels like home. Exactly. You want active players. That's the most important part is finding active players. We are, let's see. Yes, okay. I'm going to go ahead and grind out some.
Now, one of the, one of the things I am notorious for um, is I I camp a level like a long time. I was at level twenty six, I think, for four months. <laughs> I'm not joking. Twenty six or twenty eight. I was there for four months. Twenty six. I'm sure it was twenty six. Um, so some of my ships and officers are are high and so we we have a uh, I am sitting on 32 I do this a lot I, I go up so what happened I tend to go up two levels at a time so when I was at 20 I went to 23 so I could get the Armada Control Center 23 I jumped to 25 uh, all in one, like all in the space of an hour. So 23, 25 in an hour, and I did that for territory. You had to be 25 uh, to do territory, and then 25 to 26, so I could get the 26 ships. I'm a, I'm a ship collector, so. I'm not skipping any ships. I may not up. I may not level them up, tier them up, but I'm gonna have them. And <laughs> 26 to 28, so I could have. So I did. I did max out my um, uh, Centurion, but I also maxed out the um, Legionary. And I'm going to max out the um, uh, Gladius. God, I'm drawing a blank. Okay, Lord Visit, thank you for that information. Yeah, I knew um, I've been 35, so this is um, this is my second uh, time being in the 30s. I was on a server 55, and it was extremely toxic, and I left. I I, I had two choices: leave the game or change servers and start over. So that's when I came here in October of last year. To start over, um, so I left. So I left 55. Wasn't happy being on that server. Uh, so yeah, 30, 35 is a great ops level to be. I'm looking forward to moving there again, but I'm gonna. I'm going to take it slow. I want my ships leveled up. We have. Um, a strong, and I'm, I'm not being derogatory, I'm just being factual. We have a strong well alliance on this server. And if you level up too fast, they will punch you in the face, take your lunch money, and talk bad about your mother. <laughs> they, they are bad news. Uh, so it does not help you to level too fast on this server. So slow and steady. No, 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 no. You do not start over. No, no. I. Uh, so what you. So let me explain that. So up. Till Ops 12, you can change your, your server. Everything you did on your current server changes with you. You take everything with you. You don't restart. And um, you just change servers. You're good to go. If you are like me, when I was on server 50, uh, 55, and I decided I... Did not want to be on that server. What is happening here? There we go. Um, I did. So 
you cannot change servers above Ops 12. If you do, if you are changing servers, you're starting over. So that's that's how that works. You must make a decision about, am I going to stand it and put up with uh, the server I'm on now that I'm level 25? Or do I want to start over on a different server? And which is the which is what I did because I was already 35 at the time. Thank you, Lord Visit. Appreciate it. Thank you for stopping in. I really appreciate your chat. So you can you can change servers with no at up to level 12 with no impact to anything your uh, concerning your game. If you go above that, you cannot, there's there's no amount of money you have on you that will get you a server change from Scopely. So you have to, to create a new character and go to a new server. So we are killing um, level 32 um, swarms for the dailies. <laughs> well, it, it is until you decide whether you can find an alliance you uh, want to uh, join. Or if you want to uh, roll the dice and uh, come to a uh, another server, I'm 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 specifically trying not to encourage you either way about your a server change. I, but it just you it's it can be tough finding the right alliance. Um, for your gameplay. Oh, what I was saying about the whales is uh, when we have a strong alliance of whales and if you hurry, if you rush to uh, a higher level, you put yourself in their gun sights. <laughs> so you have to slow and steady is a better way to level up on this server um, because you want to make sure you get all your buildings built, your research done, your ships tiered up, um, your crews uh, set and leveled up. So... Oh, they, they don't care what level you are. The reason... So... There, there is a, a level range for PvP. Um, so at, at your level, let's say you go to... Uh, so the only people who can touch you are level 14, 13, 12, 11, and 10. It's two, two levels each way. So, so someone can... Uh, at your level, they can't raid your base, but they can attack your ship. When, and that stays that way until level 20. When you go above level 20, the, ra the range that you can be hit from increases. By the time you get to 35, I believe 35, you can be hit by a 60. I may be wrong about that. 
I wish uh, Lord Visit was still here because he would probably know. Um, but I think by the time, the, so the range, range is really, really wide by the time you get into your 30s. And, that, and so most of the whales that are on this server um, are maxed. So each server opens up uh, the max range, the max level range. So right now 60 is the max level range, but each server has its own range depending on how new it is. So your server probably max range is, uh, or max level is 39. On my server, max uh, level range is uh, 49, I believe. I don't think we have any 50s yet. Uh, so as you level up, you become, you become a target for a bigger, uh, group of players who are above you. So I prefer my my uh, <laughs> my way to combat the people who have money and are not afraid to spend it is to take it slow. Be as beefy as you can at the lower levels. In fact we so I'm the Admiral of my alliance. My alliance, one of my alliance mates, his shield, his shield dropped overnight, and the whales were raiding his uh, his base to take his stuff. Well, I saw it. I and these are level 35 to 46 level players, I think, something in that range. So I grabbed my max level centurion i'll grab my max level um legionary and i start attacking the players raiding the base and i did that for half an hour we we warred back and forth for half an hour so when it was all over one of the players um messaged me and said, hey, you you did pretty well for such a low-level player because I was out of the... Uh, I had 25 kills against higher-level ships. Every ship I attacked was higher-level than I was. And uh, the, the guy said, yeah, you did pretty well for a lower-level player. Um, and, I, and my response was... Yeah, I'm not really a uh, PvP player. I'm a PvE player. I said, I guess I should uh, learn more about ships and crew and let it go. And I told my alliance mates after I, t I said that to this player, I said, I bet you Scopely's going to get an influx of money really, really soon now because the player that I responded to, I, ki I killed him like three times. <laughs> <laughs> but uh yeah being being as beefy as you can whoops didn't get that one, is the best way i know of to combat higher level players who are willing to um spend a lot of money and it takes a it's i'm not joking it takes a lot of money to get to uh, fast forward that high. A lot of money. I think that is it for the swarms. Let me check. Yep. Check that. I think all the swarm stuff is. No, 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 no. Crap, 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 crap. Stop. Kind of go back. Okay, put the Franklin back in here. I looked at the uh, I looked at the clock and the time, and I thought, oh well, by now I'm done with swarms. <laughs> That's not a good way to tell whether you're uh, done with swarms or not. 
Um. <laughs> Use the in game counter. I'm going to go ahead and set up the ship for the uh, Borg probes. That'll be the next thing. Yeah, the... Uh, the game is pretty much a uh, solo game, other than the chit chat in the alliance, because um, you can't share resources and things like that. Um, but when you get to 25 or 23 and you can start running armadas, then it becomes more of a group game. And uh, Scopely is adding more types of armadas. So when I started, uh, armadas were group, what they call group now. So you could have up to you can have up to six players in the armada. It's controlled by level. So when you first level up your armada control center, you can have three players. When you get to level 20 in your Armada Control Center, you can have four. At 30, you can have five, and so on. So then they came out with the, the Borg Armadas, which are another form of group. Then they came out with the Solo Armadas. And why they did this, I don't really know, but you can, in a normal group Armada, you can send one ship per dock per armada. So if uh, so if someone is uh, running an armada and you send two ships, the armada will only take one of the two. So with the with the solo armadas, you can use three ships of your own for the one armada but nobody else can help you and so that became a thing and now we have the uh, formation I think is what they're calling them formation armadas and those armadas give me a second I'll show you what they look like if you haven't seen them they're pretty cool looking but you can have players who will uh, get irritated with you with these things. Let me see. There we go. Okay. So you can see the triangles. You can have three different alliances or three of the same alliances. You can see here these two alliances are the same name. Running these armadas. And there's the third one. Somebody just kicked off the third one. What makes these irritating is for some for some people, for some uh, alliances, some individuals. When you uh, when you kick off these armadas, every, each one of these uh, armada nodes, I'm going to call them. You have to win every one of them, and if you do. You get a, uh, each player gets a, what they term a mega chest. So there is a strong reward for getting people in this armada to coordinate and get the mega chest reward for defeating all of them. Now the other thing about this armada is all three of these things are on the same timer. You can see the timings here. So it starts out at 50 minute, 15 minutes like normal armadas. But if let's say this, these people started first and they're down to 10 minutes, 
and my alliance comes over here, kicks off this node over here, I get the same timer they did, although I came in late. So my armada kickoff timer starts at 10 minutes, wherever this one. Same way with this one. We were sitting here, I was sitting here chatting. This thing was around five or six minutes. When this thing kicked off, the timer dropped down to like three minutes. So you are... Um, you're on the same timer. You all have to win. And this is a big boy armada. And it looks like they have plenty of power. For this 9 million, 9.7 million armada, you need at least 4.8 million power in ships. So yeah, you've got a... Uh, Kelvin in here for a level 44, 10 million, and then you have two, 2 million ships. Let's see what we got here. You have a 4, four million power Burrell, a 7 million power Enterprise, and a Sally for 2 million. And yeah. So you've got a 2, a 9, a 7, and a 2. Oh, they're swapping out. Yeah, that's what I would do if I were them. So you, you max four players per node, and there's no reason to have one node, four, three, and three, and players sitting out. You need to get the players who are available to you, such as these two, right? Uh, well, this one needs to be on one of these nodes somewhere so he can get, you know, the uh, the chest or whatever. So, anyway, that's the newest um, version of Armadas, and they're pretty cool. Just be aware that uh, you need over 4 million power to beat the thing. That particular alliance is not going to have any problems. Yes, Epic uh, Riker is an awesome officer for Armadas. Um, can't say enough about him. The the uh, I, the only thing I will say is <laughs> Scopely made him for whatever reason, extremely expensive when they first released him. I don't know what he goes for now. I know he's hard to get uh, charts for. But I want to say he was probably a $500 officer. So they put him in the store and it was a hundred, you had to buy a $100 pack. But it wasn't a single $100 pack, because I looked at it when he got released. I saw it. It was multiple $100 packs, and I believe the, the number was five. <laughs> Holy crap. I'm like, no, 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 no. I'm not doing that. Okay, 50 of 50. There we go. That is, uh... oh, man. Let me recall now. Let's see here. Yep, let me um, let me reset my miners. And now um, let's look at something. Okay, so OPC, oh, yeah, it was OPC, and I've explained this before, but there's a I don't know if you run into this, but this is a visual. The green bar is what if somebody attacks me that's what I'm going to keep and take home to my base anything above the green bar is considered overprotected cargo or OPC and you lose it if you get attacked if I scurry home right now I take everything on board if I get attacked I keep only the part that's in green the white is goes to the player who attacked me if the player who attacks me 
cannot hold the OPC, the overage, on my miner, it poofs. No one gets it. So I'm going to go ahead and recall that ship. And you can see with the, uh, the horizon that I'm way under, way under OPC. So I'm just going to reset it. And there we go. And there we go. All right, uh, it is almost 8.30. I'm going to go ahead and uh, go through the shutdown. Um, go ahead and throw my sign up. Thank you, everyone, for the chat. I appreciate you being in the chat with me this morning. And uh, hope to see you another day this week. Y'all have a good Wednesday. Take care.